And it is week 11. The postseason is underway. Just before the commercial, we showed you Aner's 44 to 36 win over the King Street Jaguars. The great folks behind the scenes have gotten Mark Haggard a new microphone, and he is ready to talk with the Aner Blue Jackets. Take it away, Hags. You know, Rich, a few weeks back, I missed the Aner Hoedown Festival. But we're going to have our own festival tonight right here in the end zone because the Aner Blue Jackets, the cheerleaders, the football team is here in the zone. But we have the first order of business. The cheerleaders won the competitive cheer title for uh, Class 2A in their region, and they've got a cheer for us. Go, ladies. We are... The Aner Lady Blue Jackets competitive cheer champs doing it up in the zone. And joining me now, Jody Jenneret and Coach, big difference from last year. Let's talk about the whole body of work uh, leading up to tonight. Well, it's been a great season. We've got a uh, great group of seniors that's led us through this thing. And, uh, you know, we just played well all year. And uh, we had a little adversity early in the season, and we responded real well. And, you know, it's just good. I want to keep it going. I think our kids want to keep playing, and that's what it's all about this time of year. We like watching you play. Uh, you know, 80 points on the scoreboard tonight between you and King Street. Yeah, we, we, we score a bunch of points. Uh, and uh, I can't say enough about King Street. I mean, they outcoached us and uh, outplayed us in some aspects. And, you know, their, their head coach, uh, Mr. Brown, just had a great game plan. And he called probably the best game that uh, we faced all season. But uh, we responded and got the job done. So uh, we'll get ready to go to Lee Central next Friday. Charlie Brown, the former Washington Redskin. You know who he's married to, don't you? Yeah, I saw her after the game. Yeah, he, 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 he outkicked his she coverage. She was rooting against you. <laughs> yeah, I'm out, sorry. Yeah, he definitely outkicked his coverage. But hey, an eight and three record. You've been there nine years now, and this you've really been working toward this point. Uh, this has got to be the best uh, team you've had since uh, Dave Manus was around. Your old coach. Yeah, well, I, it's the best group of human beings too. I mean, we just great kids. We have a good time together, and uh, they work hard. And uh, you know, we just got to keep grinding and find a way to, to go to Lee Central and play the best game we played since I've been there. HTC Game Ball. Who's it going to? Uh, As if of, I don't know. It's kind of a lifetime achievement award going to Hunter Wyndham. He's uh, he's been around. He's been with us ever since he was probably four or five years old he's been there forever so uh you know great kid great family and uh he's gonna he's gonna make a, he's gonna make a lot of money and he's gonna be a lot richer than i am so uh he's a great kid this offense is dynamic and led by you and here's your htc game ball and wow look at this 31 carries 190 yards on the ground and one touchdown run talk to me about the game ball some guys that were behind the scenes helping you make this happen well i, th I think a lot of it the just great production we had tonight goes to the offensive line. A lot of those guys, they don't get a lot of respect, and they don't hear their names on Friday nights, but they're, they're even more important than the running backs are. And without them, we wouldn't have holes to run through at all. Uh, starting with left tight end, moving to the right, got Houston Carroll, um, White Color, Ryan G, White McCracken. Uh, we also have Ashton Kulik, B.J. Haywood, D.Q. Nash, and then a bunch of other guys, R River Williamson, Aja Myers, uh, you know, our offensive line opens up a lot of holes for us. But you want this game ball not to go to yourself, but to someone else. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the adversity coach talked about earlier, um, early in our season, just after the school year had ended, uh, one of our seniors, one of the greatest guys on our team, uh, had a lot of character, Daryl Miller. He um, passed away, got into an accident. So um, we're going to all sign this game ball tonight, the seniors and everybody on the team in general, and we're going to give this to his mother, Miss Laverne Miller. How far can you go in these playoffs? Now you've got an eight and three record. You've got to pinch me. This is new. This is new ground. This is new ground. And now you got to go to Lee Central. You got to go over to Tommy Ganey Country and go to Bishopville and play a tough uh, stallion team. Well, I think it's all about how far we want to go and who wants to keep playing the most. That's what Coach Jenner preaches. And this time, anything can happen. Like tonight, um, King Street gave us a tough one, but when it comes down to uh, November, December, you just got to win. Just got to find some way to win. I know you play both ways. You're going to have to learn how to keep some points off the board and play a little defense. Uh, yes, sir. We uh, Film session on Monday might not be too great. We uh, gave up 36. Well, at halftime we had only given up six, but we need to work on our pass defense just a little bit, touch some things up. 
Go far, young man. And Jody, uh, again, your thoughts about playing Lee Central. What kind of a team are we looking at next week uh, going up against? Uh, you know, we'll get back to the uh, office tonight, and we'll we'll start watching film. And uh, you know, we've seen enough that I know they're athletic, and uh, we're gonna have to not fumble like we did tonight. We had three fumbles in the fourth quarter, and that's something we haven't done all year. So uh, we'll line up and play and see what happens We're around ten o'clock next Friday night. Get used to it, the Aner Blue Jackets in the end zone and headed to round two of the Class 2A playoffs. Guys, let's let them hear you all the way back to Aner. Woo!